Hi guys and welcome to part 8 of my tutorial. This time we're gonna discuss depth and we're gonna create a short universal script to realize depth in our 2D top-down game. So first of all let's see uh, with what we left off. So when our player walks in front of the wall um, he gets in front of the wall so the character is visible yet the wall is behind him but on the other side we don't get a good effect we want the player to be behind the wall a bit so let's stop our C uh, let's stop the game running and go to our wall and make the box collider a bit smaller like this and move it a bit down so let's start our scene now. So we get the same effect uh, when he's below the wall and when he's up the wall, he's on top of the wall. Now we want the wall to be in front of the player um, when the player is above the wall. So um, in order to do this, we're uh, gonna create a universal script. And by universal, I mean, um, that you can put it on all the objects in the scene so let's call it depth let's open it up and basically what we're gonna write is um, a script that's going to uh, cause the the objects in the scene to have a Z position sorry a Z position based on their I position so that when we start our game and we go up the player will be um, transformed his, tr his position will be transformed based on his eye position so that he'll get behind the wall when he's um, above the wall so let's write our skip script sorry um, we're gonna need two variables let's make them private they're gonna be float um, let's call it eye position and let's do the same for the x position and we're gonna update actually let's first assign a value to our new variables yeah and let's do the same for the i position okay and now let's just use transform dot position is a new factor tree and let's give this uh, the x position and then this is gonna be the y position and then this time we're gonna give it a z position and that's based on the eye position and save it that, no let's let's keep it this way so that we can see it um, let's open the inspector and give our player the depth script but we must also give the wall the depth script scripts that and that's why uh, why I said it's a universal script so let's go to our game and start it up so as it started up you saw that it immediately moved immediately moved uh, a bit the scene changed and that's also uh, one thing that comes with the script 
the object change change based on their uh, position even if they don't move so let's see what happens when we go when we walk in front of the wall so you can see the Z position of the player is also changing and when we are in front of the wall the, pos uh, the Z position of the player is closer to the camera than the wall but when we walk behind the wall we can see the wall is now in front of the player so with this script both our Z um, all our dimen dimensions are changing and the Z position is changing and that way we're creating a sense of depth but there is one thing you must um, pay attention to while using this script and that's that uh, the pivot of the player should never get below the pivot of the wall uh, when you're using um, when you're above the wall so I'm gonna show you what I mean if you don't understand it I'm sure you will see it um, after I do it so let's move the box collider a bit down start it again go to our game and right now as long as the player pivot is below the wall pivot the script is doing its work fine but once we go below actually we should make it even smaller uh, let's make this bigger and not too big and let's make the box glider even smaller something like this I know it's unrealistic but I'm just showing you uh, what I mean so right now if the player pivot is above the wall pivot everything is fine but once he moves uh, further we see that the player is now in front of the wall and we don't want that but that's because the pivot of the player is above the pivot of the wall and you can change this by simply making the wall a bit uh, larger the sprite of the wall or you can just pay attention to it so it's not a flawless script but it is the only way I know right now how to create depth and I'm sure there are other ways maybe even better ways uh, for example something with walls uh, with layers or something but um, right now this uh, this is just fine for me and um, it has its uh, disadvantages but uh, I'm alright with that so um, yeah that's it thanks for watching guys and uh, have a nice day